Welcome to this very short video on all the reactions. So I'm going to explain it in a very simple and short way to show you that it's not even that hard. Eh? So I'll show you how to do an order reaction. You need to know an order reaction um, will be a reaction that involves the formation of an outdoor. So what's an outdoor? It, actually, I should have an L here. So this is a, combi uh, a combination of an aldehyde and an alcohol. But then how do we form these outdoors? Eh? So you need to know that we form them in three steps. If you're able to remember these three steps, trust me, you won't mess up whenever they ask you to show the mechanism. So only three steps that you need to know. So step number one, you have to know how to generate the inolate ion. Number one, know how to generate your inolate ion. If you know how to do that, that's your first step. Huh? Second step, show resonance. Right? And third step, you do inolytic attack. Right? So three steps. One, generate your inolate ion. Two, show resonance. And three, inolytic attack. And before you know it, you have an outdoor. Let me put this into perspective for you. Suppose you started with um, an aldehyde that looked like this. So you had an aldehyde that looked like this. Um, let me put a ketone group there and let me say that. And then you react this, all right? What conditions do you need? All you need is a little bit of sodium hydroxide. It should be dilute. So some books will say 15%, some books will say 10%. Eh? doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And you need a little bit of water because it's dilute. That means the other portion is sodium hydroxide, the other portion is water. So the temperature is usually low, kept at around 5 to 8%, uh, I mean 5 to 8 degrees. Eh? So what happens when you react these things? Step one, right? So I'll try to make this video as short as possible. So step one, generate your inolate ion. How do you do this? How do you do that? You get this compound here. And what you do is, all you do is you need to expand this portion. So I'll put the C there with the hydrogens like that. I've only expanded this part, huh? and then I redraw the, the compound exactly the way it is, right? Or to get up to that point. And then what do I do to this? All I have to do is add a little bit of water. I mean, not okay. I've seen some books that add water, but then one one thing I've seen in um, in most of the the books is that they'll try to use the sodium hydroxide. So what I'll do is, since sodium hydroxide, these two things are bonded ionically. So meaning you have sodium ions plus, and you also have OH ions, right? So we'll use the hydroxide ions. So when we use the hydroxide ions, what's the first step? This hydroxide will extract one hydrogen from there. When it does that, I'll remain with two uh, hydrogens there. But then, what's the consequence of doing this? Firstly, I'll deprive uh, or I'll, I'll, I'll have less one less hydrogen here. So I'll have uh, that and then I'll have uh, two hydrogens, right? And then the next thing I'll, I'll see is that when this hydrogen goes, it doesn't go with a pair of electrons. Instead, it leaves them behind, right? When it leaves them behind, this pair of electrons are here. This creates uh, a negative charge, making this a cabanion, right? And then I redraw the compound the way it is. And then what other thing do you see? This hydroxide, because it has gained um, one hydrogen, it becomes what? This is your enolate ion. Step one is complete. Step two. Step two. What do you do in step two? In step two, you are doing uh, resonance. So you get the same structure. The same structure that we had. So C, there, there, the negative there same exact structure all you need to do is copy it you show this and then you show this sign to show resonance so here we're showing how the compound is trying to be stable because this is not a stable confirmation because of the charge and so what can this uh, compound do to be stable it could decide to move this bond here break the bond it, it could decide to break the bond by sending a pair of electrons there and then move the bond here right and when it does that it will look something like this so you have a double bond there 
and then what you have is you have your same two hydrogens this carbon is happy however there is a price here the price is that this oxygen will be the one to carry the negative charge like that so these are your two resonance forms right that's your resonance so this is the first resonance form this is the re second resonance form none of them are stable and so the reaction continues so in analytic attack we get one of our inolate ions this one here this resonance form uh like this this is how it looks and then what do we do we attack a normal aldehyde group that looks like this the one we started with in the beginning like that right and then just like we did for grenade reagents we attack in such a manner when we do that one thing we'll be able to see is we'll form a carbon carbon bond so this carbon will be bonded with this carbon and then how do we show that so it's a bit confusing to imagine right but then one thing you need to know is that um, you write this methyl group this one here that you write the the the, the uh, carbonyl group and then you get this hydrogen and move it over to the middle part and then you continue right and then you cover that hydrogen uh, when you do that so in, instead of drawing it like this i'll just use the line structure there and then we have another carbon and then after that carbon this is where we have our carbonyl group and then we have the aldehyde group so this is how you draw this so what am i saying you first start with the methyl group you draw this and then you move the hydrogen slightly towards the middle <coughs> when you do that you continue drawing this this portion here just know that there are two hydrogens here meaning that's the same thing right yeah and then once you do this you need to analyze what do we have do we have a stable structure no reason this carbon is connected to five things one two three four five what can it do to solve that problem it needs to push uh, a lone pair of electrons there when it does that we'll have a negative charge there and then one thing we're able to see is that this entire time we had water right and then the water that we created before when we did our uh, step i think that was uh, step one when we did our step one and so one thing you'll be able to see is you can give back the hydrogen and when you give back the hydrogen you form this so you have ch3 here you have a single bond because you broke uh, the double bond you have an oh an alcohol group there I won't show this hydrogen but then we can continue and draw this like uh, that you've synthesized your outer so that's how you do the reaction three steps one generate the inolate ion two show resonance and then do inolytic attack and then you're done